welcome in class 7th uh, next chapter from history the medieval period in class 6 we already studied out the ancient history of india basically history that is divided into three part ancient history medieval history and modern history in class 6 we studied the ancient history in class 7 we go with the medieval history and in class 8 we go with the modern history the first chapter as simply in a class 6 the medieval period and source of information first of all what is the time period of medieval period decided by different historians in India as well as in Europe so up to 5th to 5th to 15th century the time period it is included the medieval period by the European historians and in India the 8th to 18th century time period it is included as the medieval history or medieval time period in Indian history the second one that is major one that is a different source of information as you have studied already in class 6 different source of information as you saw monuments coins, painting, sculptures, autobiographies, same in class 7, the literatures and archaeological findings, the pranas, samritis, a non-religious work of medicine, astronomy, drama, stories, autobiographies, the one of example that is given in our book from autobiography that is the Prithvi Raj Rasho, which is written by the Chand Bardai over the administration and the life of the people in North India during the region of Prithvi Raj Chauhan. Similarly, some Muslim ruler increased the writing of historical accounts like the Takike Hind, which is written by Al Biruni, Aine Akbari, which is written by Abul Fajr. Similarly, some foreigners account travelers, visitors like Ibn Batuha, Marco Polo, Barniers are so important source of information about their time period. The achievement of this period was the popularity of ability of papers which increase the writing of records. Rulers, tempers, monastery, collector their manuscripts a major source of information about that period. Similarly, the movement of people in search of opportunity resulted in exchange of ideas regarding agriculture, weaving, foods. This was also a period of great technological developments like the Prussian wheels, spinning wheels. The medieval, medieval towns, sarais, village along with their painting, monuments, coins, inscriptions give us a lot of information about the different aspects of the society and the culture. So it is a very small chapter. So in exercise there is also a question which is I am already discussed within your first two lines that which time period is known as medieval period in Indian history as well as in European history and what are the well-known literary source of, of medieval period, names of foreign visitors of medieval periods, technological development of medieval periods. So these are the questions we have to solve. But before you solve, once you have to go through the chapter. Thank you.